let everybody know, you know, our hopes and prayers are with uh, the families that are affected the tragic events with uh, Silicon Lifesaver. Uh, we know the situation, the families of the Admirals with Mark Ann and the, the nurse who's still in the hospital. We pray for them and uh, thinking about them during this difficult time and all the first responders go along with it. We'll stand in uh, Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> child abuse and neglect is a community problem that depends on environmental among people throughout the community. Child mill treatment occurs when people find themselves in a stressful situation without community resources and do not know how to cope. The majority of child abuse cases stem from situations and conditions that are preventable in an engaged and the support of community. Child abuse and neglect not only directly harm children, but also increase the likelihood of criminal behavior, substance abuse, health problems such as heart disease and obesity, and risky behavior such as smoking. All citizens should become involved in supporting families in raising their children in a safe, nurturing environment. Effective child abuse prevention programs succeed because of partnerships created among social service agencies, schools, faith communities, civic organizations, law enforcement agencies, and the business community as a whole. Now therefore, I, Mayor of the City of Silicon, do hereby declare the Department of Child Abuse, Neglect Prevention, Children's Trust Fund and Preventive Child Abuse Alabama hereby proclaim April 2023 as Child Abuse Prevention Month. And I call upon all citizens of our community, agencies, faith groups, medical facilities, and businesses to increase their participation in our efforts to support families, thereby preventing child abuse and strengthening the communities in which we live. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. All right, we need to adopt the agenda tonight, and with that, it's going to be removing of item number nine. We'll address that at the next meeting. So, may I have a motion? I make a motion we adopt the agenda. Any further second? Second. All right, call in favor? Yes. All yeas approved. You know, approved minutes of the regular city council meeting until March 21st, 2023. May I have a motion? Motion. Any further second? Second. All yes. All in favor? Yes. All yes approved. Approve uh, minutes of the regular work session until March 21st, 2023. May I have a motion? Motion. Right, second. Second. Leave Airman. All in favor? Yay. Yay. All yeas approved. Number nine is removed. 10. Actions necessary to approve the request from Mayor Jen Title to change the current budget, budget positions, and all associated records to reflect a name change from Code Enforcement Department to Building Services Department. May I have a motion? Motion. Any further second? Second. All in favor? Yes. All yeas and approved. Actions necessary to approve provisions to the city's local personnel policy. That's got to be reposted after discussions at the work session. We'll move that. Action is necessary to accept the recommendation of Mayor Jen Tyler to promote David Michael Weston to the position of Building Services Director, effective with pay period beginning April 8, 2023, and to establish salary for position at grade AO 12, step. Motion. Make approval second. Second. Mark D, all in favor? Yay. Yes. All yeas and approved. 
Actions necessary to promote Alexander M. Lambert to the position of city clerk and treasurer, effective with a pay period beginning April 8, 2023, and to establish a salary for this position at grade B of 12, step three. May I have a motion? Motion. Nate Brewer, second. Second. R. Heath, all in favor? Yes. Yeah. Four yeas, one nay. Motion passes. Action that is necessary to approve resolution designating signatories for checks and of, Silico of City of Silicaga bank accounts and for conducting other financial transactions on behalf of the city. Approval repeals resolution 01 2023 approved on January 5th, 23. If to consider, we have a new resolution 19 2023. May I have an introduction? Oh, Heath. Uh, you can get up some more. Thank you. Um, the one we just approved. Um, or to take action, we need to suspend the rules. We have a motion. Motion. Nate Brewer, second. Second. Or he, all in favor? Yay. All yeas approved. Now, a motion to approve. Motion. Nate. Well, motion's Nate Brewer. Second. Second. Or he, all in favor? All in favor? Yay. Yay. Nate Brewer. 4 1. Motion passes. Action is necessary to. is necessary to approve resolution authorizing the use of a facsimile like, signature of Mary Jane Heigl for checks drawn on the city of Silicaga bank accounts. Approval repeals resolution 4-2021 approved on January 25th, 21. If to consider, we have a new resolution of 20-2023. May I have an introduction? Uh, yes. Nate Brewer, uh, Take action this meeting, we need to suspend the rules. May I have a motion? Motion. Nate Brewer, second. Is necessary to accept the recommendation of Mary Jane Tigel to reclassify animal shelter manager position from grade SM04 to grade AO8. No step. AO8. Correct. All right. To AO8. May I have a motion? Motion. Nate Brewer, second. Second. Are you all in favor? Yes. Yeah. No. Four one. Motion passes. Action is necessary to accept the recommendation of Mary Jane's Heigl to remove reporting and supervision responsibilities of the animal shelter from street department and to establish the animal shelter as a separate department with reporting duties to Mayor Heigl. May I have a motion? Motion. Nate Brewer, second. Second. Mayor Heath, all in favor? Yes. All yeses approved. Now appointment to the Board of Education for five year term of Melissa Garris expiring June 2023. We will have one abstention, Nate Brewer, due to conflict of interest being the employer. Uh, I now open the floor and call for nominations. I nominate Olin Twyman. Chairman nominates Olin Twyman. I nominate. Go ahead. I nominate Coach Eddie Barnador. Laura Heath nominates Eddie Barnador. And I want to nominate Brian Green. Tiffany Hicks nominates Brian Green. No other nominations. I call for nominations to be closed. May I have a motion? So, yeah. Leave here. Second. Second. Phoenix. All in favor? Yeah. All yeas. That'd be a 4 0. Correct, Kim. All right. Close the floor and call on votes of the nominations. Uh, first, those in favor of Olin Twyman? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll do a roll call. Leave yeah. Harriman. Tiffany Nix? Yay. Uh, Laura Heath? Nay. And Nay. So that is a 2-2 two -two for Ms. Twyman. No majority there, so we go to the second nominee. Those in favor of Eddie Bonnador? Lee Perriman? Nay. Tiffany Nix? No. Laura Heath? Yay. Yay for me. 2-2. Two -two. Now we know majority, so now we move to the third nominee. Blaine Green, I have a roll call vote here. Lee Berryman, Tiffany Nix, 
Laura, you? No. No. Three. With no majority votes, we have to push this to the following meeting, correct? So we'll have to discuss and go over this again if there was no majority. Yeah. Reading into the minutes, Mayor Heigl's appointment of Jeff Turner to the Planning Commission for the six year term to expire January 2029. No council action is required. Action is necessary to approve requests from Police Chief Kelly Johnson to purchase up to four uh, 2023 Ford Explorer police cruisers from the Stowers Ford Lincoln at the state bid price of $36,384 each, plus all related equipment for a total estimated vehicle cost of $61,517.50 per vehicle. On these sources, capital correct? Capital correct. Plus, I thought part of the funding from of the funding, yes, from, from, from the sale of our 4th Street um, property. property. Do you have to just say general funds if that's where it went? So. I'll put partial funding from the sale of one of our properties and sure. additional funding from capital improvements. Could you only distribute yes. that up with the vehicles and everything else to make sure it works? Yeah. Is that okay? So the whole sale price of that will go into it and the leftover comes from capital. I have a motion. Motion. Nate Brewer, second. Second. Or he, all in favor? Yay. All yeas, approved. Action is necessary to approve a request from Police Chief Kelly Johnson to purchase K9 cage system at a total cost of $4,185 from emergency lighting by Hayden LLC. Funding will come from capital improvement. I have a motion. Motion. Nick, second. Second. Or he, all in favor? Yay. Yay. All yes, approved. Actually, necessary to approve requests from Police Chief Kelly Johnson to purchase steam car video system for K9 vehicle at a total cost of $6,042 from GovDirect Incorporated. <coughs> Funding also from capital improvement. I have a motion. Motion. Nick, second. Second. Okay. Lee Perryman, all in favor? Yay. All yeas approved. Action is necessary to approve payment according to Civil Service Board ruling to Timmy Everson in the amount of $10,676.80. Plus 6% simple interest per annum, uh, which comes out to $299.96 for a total of $10,976.76. May I have a motion? Yeah. Lee Perryman, second. Second. Tiffany Nix, all in favor? Yeah. All yeas and approved. Action is necessary for County Specialist Sandy Sorson to attend a certified governmental county technician budgeting course in Tuscaloosa, May 24th, 2023. Registration fee of 150. Additional expenses for meals, lodging, and mileage will incur. Total estimated expenses for Sorenson are $485.74. May I have a motion? Motion. Lee Brewer, second. Second. Tiffany Nix, all in favor? Yay. Yeah. 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 Action is necessary to approve travel training expenses for firefighters Andrew McLean and Clint Payton to attend the Alabama Fire College Rescue Technician Road 2 course hosted by LAC Fire Department May 23rd through the 26th, 2023. Registration fee of 200 boy each. Additional expenses for launches and use of a supervised vehicle will be incurred. Performance for carpool. Total estimated expenses for McLean and Payton are 285 each. May I have a motion? Motion. Nate Brewer, second. Second. Laura Heath, all in favor? Yay. Action is necessary to approve travel and training expenses for firefighter Mike Matt Carpenter and Brett Autry to attend the Alabama Fire College Operator Aerial Course hosted by the Aniston Fire Department May 12, 8 through 12, 2023. No registration fee, expenses for lunches, and the use of the city provided vehicle will be incurred. Total estimated expenses for Carpenter and Autry are 75 each. May I have a motion? Motion. Nate Brewer, second. Second. Laura Heath, all in favor? Yay. Yeah. Okay. Action is necessary to approve travel and training expenses for firefighter Reed Tapley to attend the Alabama Fire College Live Fire Instructor Fire Instructor in Charge course hosted by the Oxford Fire Department April 17th to the 21st, 2023. Registration fee of 350. Additional expenses for lunches will be incurred in Tapley will carpool with Tolman. Estimated expenses for Tapley are 425. May I have a motion? Motion. Tiffany Nix, second. Second. Lee Perryman, all in favor? Yay. All yeas approved. Action is necessary to approve travel and training expenses for firefighter Andrew McLean to attend the Alabama Fire College Rescue Technician Road 1 course hosted by the Aniston Fire Department April 17th through 21st, 2023. No registration fee. Expenses for lunches will be incurred. McLean will carpool with Autry and Bird. Total estimated expenses for McLean are 75 each. I have a motion. 
Motion. Motion. Okay, Brewer, second. Second. Or he all in favor? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's me. Yeah. I got to call. I see it says with the, uh, like on 27, it says Tapley and it's going to go with uh, Tolan, but we didn't approve Tolan anywhere, did we? No, we approved him. Last meeting? Okay. All right, action is necessary to approve March accounts payable and invoices received to the date in the amount of $68,545.32. May I have a motion? Motion. Lee Perryman, second. Second. Mr. Nix, all in favor? Yes. All gays approved. Now it's time for everyone to address the council. No action will be taken at this meeting. Before you speak, come to the microphone and state your name and address for the record prior to addressing the council. Go ahead, sir. You can come up to the microphone, state your name and address. Thank you.
back and then when he right. gets when he gets we'll enough salary, right? because yes the school right. system pays nine months and then the city pays those yeah. three months because they're 12 months in Florida right. so that that is in the works I mean it needs to be before we end up being on TV I, I agree, agree. Yeah. I mean because all these little kids mm -hmm. like I said these, these killings right now I figure at least y'all be all discussing with the police what's going on here which I kind of already know but I'm just saying we need to get, get the town back to the people yeah. and it's getting old because everybody just washes it away we all don't does anybody consult any of the families that lost a child in it? I mean, has, I mean that's, that's something I mean, how can you address it? Not just the police, counts and all. Let's be known to the people, addressing the you know, comfort of those who lose their kids. I think I mean, we've been proactive by paying the police more, and um, Kelly's been very proactive with it by establishing the street crime unit that's been patrolling extra and stuff. I mean, there's, we, we that $400,000 plan, we are being very proactive. We've also been very proactive working with Central Alabama Crime Stoppers. Yes. We've gotten awards up to uh, $17,000 or $18,000, but we don't talk about that because there are a lot of anonymous donors who go out right. yep. to receive credit. So there's new signage that's gone up. There are new reward programs that SROs can use to be able to help kids who also report things that they know. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are just a lot of things we can't talk about in public that we're working on that uh, we think are making a bit of a difference. The chief has been very successful just in the last few weeks uh, with some of his initiatives. Well, I mean, I know it takes more than them. As well, you know, <laughs> we don't parade everything we do for, you know, the public to acknowledge. Well, you usually come out with it afterwards. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're telling me something I already know from history. I told you something from family that's been around the county. Yeah. And listen, um, we, when you say everybody knows, I mean, everybody knows the street talk. And then you look at social media. So the same stuff you know, we know, the police know, but until somebody say they saw it, I mean, yeah, we're all yeah, yeah, I'm just saying the comfort yeah. of those who lose a family member in it. I don't want to spread to where a lot of these innocent people out here get caught in something that, you know, they care about your family. I mean, there's people who can't be here because they're at work. And I've talked to a lot of them. You know, I work right here. But, uh, you know, we're just trying to find out. I mean, is there anything in process? I mean, I know you can't tell me things work on the head, but some of these people who lose their children. Yeah, well, I think we just addressed everything that we're doing. You know, obviously there's an active investigation going on and his police officers are working around the clock. So we're trying, I mean, we're not letting any rock be stone be unturned. We're searching through everything, trying to figure things out. Okay, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. something for these youth to do to take them off the streets. Mr. Crump, we understand that's, that's, that's part of the building to another recreation center and we're also giving back the property from the Burley Collins Center to the housing authority for them to rebuild, reopen, and have places for them to do things. We, we need something like now. We can't just make something right. appear. We're, we're steadily working on it. What well, do you suggest? Well, that, that, that community center in the projects or the housing authority. There needs to be some action going on right now to get those kids back in their race. We're not going to put them in a faulty foundation building where the roof may fall over. We're going to get in, our housing authority will get their engineers and architects in there to build it up where they can be successful by place fact, to place. Sam Roster went in there last week with his guys getting ready to uh, put a roof on and bleachers and clean up the floor. So if y'all want to know the process for that, you can reach out to him at the housing program. We turned that fully over to them. Now look. I'm going to ask a question, and I probably shouldn't ask it, but I'm going to ask it anyway, Mr. Crone. You know, we have uh, there's different municipalities that surround us, and they have recreational centers, and they have pools, and they have basketball courts, and some of them win state championships, and some of them do this, some of them do that, and they still have what we have going on here. So it can't be just the kids have nothing to do, because the Parks and Rec Director is sitting right there, and he's got a list of things that's going on at the Rec Department. 
So that the kids not having anything to do can't be the sole cause of it. And now, I didn't say it was. I didn't say now, it was. Now, now, but, that, but that's the way it's coming off, Mr. Crone. But no. You, I, that's you know, the way I'm taking it. If I'm taking it wrong, I apologize. Well, you did. And okay. I accept your apology. Because I just said that the police department is not the total solution to it. That's what I said to you earlier. No, but you're telling and me that the kids had nothing to do. And that's what I talk with these kids. I understand. I'm with, them every, I'm with them every day. You with them every day? I'm with, I work 730 to, uh, work 6 to 230 with them every day. And they don't take through 12. And they don't tell you that? Absolutely. They say, Mr. Nate, where did our pool go? Mr. Nate, where is this at? I, mean, I, I, I get it. What's the problem? Because we ain't got $500,000 just going to fix the swim pool. We have $500,000 to swim pool. Well, it well, you all have the stimulus that, that you all can result, use some of that fund towards that. You got grants out there. You got plenty of money available for this. Yes. Sir. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, I, I'm going to leave it there. Grants offers act like tons of after-school activities for kids. That we, also we, we need to get something for the kids. I, I, we agree with you. They've had lots of outlets as well for after-school and other activities. It's ongoing. We have we have just given them over the housing authority their building to rebuild it all. We have the parks and rec going part by part to revitalize their in our city parks to make them easier access and, and more viable for people to play at. And we're work we can't snap our fingers and have a, a gym up and running. It is an ongoing process. But everybody knows that, Charlotte, and I'm not saying this because I don't want you to take it personal. My kids are from Jewport. I mean, but, but what I'm saying is, everybody does have the same opportunity. Yeah. I mean, it's not, and it, the parents are gonna have to take some sort of responsibility. Exactly. I can't make the parents do anything. Exactly. I mean, I have four kids. I'm just saying, I got know. two you know Yes, they know, and if I, all of our kids go to the same school, like everybody's taking this personal. Dallas, I mean, Tom, we, we knew these kids, we grew up with these exactly. kids. Exactly. Even, even all the kids that are in jail, like these have been our kids. But what I'm saying, and I do take it personal because everybody always said we need education, we need um, after school programs, and this and that. Okay, I got all that started. We help me. We had computers all day. We got internet put over there every time. Who showed up? Nobody. Even more than where all the after school programs we had, you need the same five people. But then when when the stuff go away because there's no help, everybody want to come up here and blame everybody. What where everybody at when it's time to help? You gotta come and help. But this is what this is what really makes me so mad. Everybody wants a reward, but nobody wants a responsibility. Right. Somebody gonna have to show up and help. I mean, and I still gotta take care of my kids. I know it. And I still gotta take care of my children. Now don't get me wrong. I was just asking, do any of the family or the kids know about this? Yes, they know. Okay, so I'm at school. You know how many kids I'm feeding? And I do take it to person when people come up here and say, well, what if it was your kids? Hell, it is my kids. I gotta feed these kids. I'm giving kids rides. I mean, we we take the responsibility in the computer in the community, but these parents don't have to take responsibility. Amen. And when people Amen. see stuff, they don't have to start telling it. They don't have to tell it. That's why, like you said, they have these things in place with the crime stoppers. It's an anonymous thing. I gave you them flyers, and I do try to stay out of stuff because I know how I get, and I and I'll say things that people don't like. But there's an anonymous app where people can download it and they can say they can see somebody breaking in the library you can text to that app hey i see somebody breaking in the library in silicon nobody never know you told it the police can go can we start to know about that so yes yes and i also have some more signs i've been spending leaves money okay. i got some more signs to some yard signs to put out okay. in front of places i'm getting approval to put the signs out okay. so we we do care i mean we do like we do and it's personal it's very personal it's like I just want to put up a list to my kids. Yes, yeah. and even about the swimming pool. You know, my kid told me, this is what my daughter asked her. She said, you've been on that city council how many years? Why we ain't got no pool? What are you doing down now? Okay. That's what my kid said to yeah. me. And it's, you know, we are trying to get stuff done. Get it done, but you know, everything takes time. So yes, but it takes wrong. people too. It takes people. Yeah. It's going to take people. I tell people on my Facebook page, yeah. if you want to know something, and come down here and voice your opinion. But I'm gonna say this too, and I'm gonna say this, yeah, and I'm gonna get a YMCA here four years ago. Four but we've been ago. we've been trying to get stuff. We've been trying to get this done for since, since I came. The only reason I even wanted to come back was to try to get the community center. But this, but this is another thing I'm gonna say too. 
We had a packed room tonight. Right. We got a packed room. And you've been here and you've been here at these council meetings. Right. You don't see anybody at these meetings until they mad. That's how you know when people piss off when you got a packed room. Don't nobody never show up when until I they mad. Up, that's what I said. I said, mm. You're Somebody right. mad. That's the problem. <laughs> that is the problem. People want it done, but they do not want to come together and get, and, and get it done. That's You're what right. I specified. That is the problem. You want your voice heard. You want something done in the community. Come, come down here and get it. Get your voice heard. That's right. And we appreciate those who do. Absolutely. Um, so we we know where each other stands. Y'all know what we're doing. We're an open book up here. We exactly. we time to time and gone through everything we say, everything we've done is on the agenda we passed. The housing authority granting them their property back to do what they're gonna do with it. You show up and you, you, you learn a lot when you come to these meetings. And I, I know you know that. First hand knowledge. And Mr. Cordell, I think Sam's going to send out some uh, flyers in the mail okay. to the uh, Drew Court residents to let them know what's going on with the uh, yeah. early college. I understand. You know, I understand. So that's a good thing. Yes, we appreciate you coming. Yeah. Lastly, I'm going to read into the minutes um, from so our interim. Wait a minute, I think Sandra. I'm sorry, go ahead. I need to make sure Wynn can hear you because I think I know where you're going. Yep. Um, so my husband was a retired firefighter here in Sylacauga and he's recently had a ruling by the Civil Service Board where y'all tonight approved the $10,676.80 that he was owed for benefits. And there was supposed to be a 6% interest per annum for three years. The calculation that y'all approved tonight is incorrect. Um, I don't know who when went to to get that calculation. Um, there's a simple calculator online you can Google that will tell you what that interest rate should have been or what that total amount should have been. So it's real simple. 10,676.80 times 0 .06 times three years, and it's gonna come up to $1,921.82. You add that to the 10,676.80, and then you're going to get twelve thousand five ninety eight sixty two. I would like to ask y'all to amend that, what you approved tonight, and reapprove it. We understand. Thank you for your concern. We'll address mm -hmm. it with our city attorney and get back. Thank I'd you. I'd like for it to go ahead and happen tonight. It's not going to. No. Thank you. I'll lastly like to read into the minutes uh, from our interim city clerk treasurer. Uh, tonight is the last meeting I will attend as your interim city clerk treasurer. I want to thank each and one of you for the vote of confidence you placed in me when you appointed me in this position over two years ago. Now, after 27 years of service in the city of Sylacauga, I will be retiring effective May 1, 2023, and look forward to new opportunities before me in the future. Uh, Kim Morris. Kim, we appreciate everything you've done in 27 you. years since I've been here. For 27 years. to discuss a motion to adjourn. I make a motion. Nate Brewer, second. Second. Uh, Laura Heath. All in favor? Yes. Yay. Yes. All yeas. Adjourned to 6 p.m. Mr. Livingston. Yes, sir. Can I tell you just a minute, please?